What's up everybody? Welcome to Level 1 Gaming's YouTube channel and we have a new review for you guys today. Yes, we are going to be talking about SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. And I just want to say shout out to THQ Nordic for getting us a review code so early that we could get this review out in time for the embargo. Thank you very much, uh, THQ Nordic. We appreciate you. And so let's get to the review itself, right? That's what we were here for. So when we look at SpongeBob SquarePants almost eight years ago, guys, is when the TV show ended in 2015. And I don't know about you, but for me personally, I was very sad. Uh, it was one of my favorite childhood shows growing up. SpongeBob SquarePants still holds a near and dear spot in my heart. Um, and it was just one of my favorite shows to watch when I was a kid. So um, this is a brand new entry, right, into the SpongeBob universe. And shout out to Purple Flame. Um, they are keeping the SpongeBob name alive through video games. And I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, if you don't know who Purple Flame is, they also did make um, the SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated that came out a couple years ago. Um, and that was a remake of, or a remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it, of the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom uh, game that released in play, um, PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube like way, way back then. So this is a brand new title to the to the series, to the franchise, and I heard that uh, Purple Flame is, is still interested in even after the Cosmic Shape to keep on doing these games. So um, I, for one, am all for that because I did very much enjoy my time playing SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake. And so just shout out to them keeping the game alive uh, and keeping our yellow friend SpongeBob on our TV screen, even though the TV show ended so many years ago so uh when you look at cosmic shake when i talk about the story right um it's it's spongebob right there's no super crazy in-depth story um somehow spongebob gets a hold of mermaid tears and these mermaid tears are actually property of king neptune um they're supposed to not be used for mortals which we find out that apparently a sponge is considered a mortal right because spongebob uses these mermaid tears and it kind of causes bikini bottom to go into chaos right um it backfires patrick turns into a balloon um and then we have this uh you know character madam cassandra who tries to act like she's a nice person um but really she's kind of the villain uh in this story right her name's madam cassandra uh, she's the one that gave you know these mermaid tears to spongebob to use and she's trying to get enough jelly as she says to um to help restore bikini bottom back but really um she's more or less trying to rule over bikini bottom and take over king neptune's role um, so that is basically the gist of the story, right? And you are going through this adventure together, uh, with now your friend, Patrick, right? He is with you through the entire game in balloon form. Um, so he kind of hangs out floating right above SpongeBob on the left side the entire time. Um, <clears throat> when you look at the, um, the way that the, the game is designed, right? You have your main hub world, which is Bikini Bottom. Um, and in this main hub world, you have a whole bunch of characters, a whole bunch of things to explore and do, um, as well as this is where your main point of entry is to go into the other realms, the other cosmic spaces. And that's where you are basically trying to go through each one of the seven levels, right? And bring back pieces of Bikini Bottom that got lost in these realms. Um, and so that is the premise of, of SpongeBob SquarePants, The Cosmic Shake. Um, so I really liked the, you know, there's tons of stuff to do, not only in the, your main hub world, right? Your main hub world has tons of things to explore. Um, you have multiple, obviously familiar characters throughout the main hub that gives you little side missions to go and do. And the one thing that I did like, um, is that when you accept these little missions, um, some of the stuff you actually got to go back in other older, uh, cosmic levels right and you got to go back and actually go through and collect certain things and bring them back to the main hub um and so that's kind of your story progression right you're going from point a to point b through these levels and you know each level is kind of designed to have like certain sections segments to them and each level at the very end of it has a boss fight and you go back then to bikini bottoms um one of the things that i did like so 
first off, SpongeBob SquarePants Cosmic Shake is a platformer through and through. Um, as you're going through the game, right, you start out with like little to like no abilities, right? Just your kind of basic tack. And then as you go through the levels, you get new abilities. And as you're playing through each level as you're going through, you'll notice that there's certain areas that's locked, right? You don't have that ability to get into them. And so that kind of gives uh, a nice little replayability, right? Because then you can go back um, as you've completed, you know, certain levels and whatnot, then you can go and backtrack, right? Um, and go back to older levels and then be able to gain access to new areas that you weren't able to do and find the collectibles that way. But like I said, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake is a platformer through and through. Um, it doesn't have, you know, a super robust, you know, combat system, right? You have your main attack button. And then as you go through, you get certain abilities, you know, as you go through the game and unlock certain things that you can use to take out other enemies a little bit easier. So it's, it's simplistic when it comes to this combat design. Um, the only one gripe I would say I'd have to say with the combat design is since you had um, Patrick with you, like the entire time they don't utilize him outside of him just being there to banter back and forth with spongebob i think they could have definitely done something with him as part of um the combat or ability portion stuff like that i feel like that's a very missed opportunity because he's right there the entire time that you should be able to to use him right i thought that i was going to lock something that he'd be able to do i don't know what he would be able to do right he's a balloon right what can he do as much as a balloon but i feel like there could have been something there that kind of like you know make the combat a little bit more not super simplistic have a little bit of complexity to it um but that's my only gripe right with the with the way that the game um is combat i very much enjoyed the expiration um i very much enjoyed the the layout right of each level um each level felt unique to you know the setting right there was different time pieces um whether you were doing you know going through and you know being a pirate or or being a caveman or anything you know in between that there was you know the karate level there was just so much com um variety with the way that the levels were designed and it was just i i very much enjoyed it um <clears throat> one of the things that i would like to talk about is that the game overall feel and look of it is just uh wonderful um, when I look at how the games, you know, the aesthetic, right? You know, it's not a, if you just look or a Dead Space remake just came out and it's uh, graphically just an amazing game and, you know, a technical advancement and stuff like that. You're not going to get that from SpongeBob SquarePants, the cosmic shake, but the thing is you don't need to get that. You know, I feel like the game still looks very vibrant. It still looks very good because it's sticking with the source material, which is a cartoon show. Um, I played it both on the Xbox Series S and X, and I really don't have any complaints with the game's performance. Outside of just some juddering here or there, the FPS kind of would dip um, randomly, and I think it was just certain actions weren't very optimized very well. Um, hopefully with a day one patch, some of those things will be fixed because obviously we were playing it in the pre-release, and there was some noticeable uh, things that they said you know we'd come across in the review phase. So hopefully when it actually fully launches and gets its day one patch, uh, some of those technical aspects will be fixed. But I really, really enjoyed the the way that um, SpongeBob SquarePants, the comic shake looked and felt. Uh, I love the, the, the sound design, right? I love the voiceovers. The voiceovers having pretty much, I wanna say the majority of the OG cast of the show in this doing the voiceovers made it feel a lot more authentic to the TV show. I really felt like I was playing episodes of of the show. You know, the cutscenes, you know, here and there looked very fantastic um, when they're actually like the cutscenes and then outside the cutscenes, um, you're kind of mostly just talking back and forth to all the characters in Bikini Bottom. And my only one thing I would say about that is I don't know, there probably is some setting or whatever but i wish it would just auto play the the dialogue you had to constantly press a i didn't look to see if there was an option uh to that prior to this review but that was one thing i think i wish i would have they would have just kind of just did an auto play button right there and there um but i very much enjoyed like the aesthetic and, and without a moment to spare as my yellow sponge friend would say um spongebob squarepants the cosmic shake is just it's a great entry to the series um, it leaves me honestly excited to what Purple Lamp does with the series next since they've said that they're interested in making more, right? Um, with the vibrant world and a wonderful cast of characters to hang out with, 
the wacky worlds to explore. Um, it was just hard for me to not recommend this game for anyone that's ever been a fan of the TV show, right? N uh, kids, young adults, adults like me, right? I would recommend this to anybody that's ever been a fan of um, SpongeBob SquarePants, the TV show, because it really brought that nostalgia factor in. And that might be what this game is heavily relaying on is that, that you know, that nostalgia factor because, you know, kids these days aren't raised in SpongeBob. Um, but they really nailed every aspect to make you feel like you're actually in the world. You're, you're, you know, living basically SpongeBob's life and living an episode, right? Uh, what SpongeBob would go through. Um, and even if you're not a fan of the TV show, say if just for example, you're a fan of platformers in general, I would still have to recommend this game for you because the platforming aspects of it are very unique. Um, very, uh, good to go through right i like to going back in the levels after i got new abilities unlocked and exploring the areas i couldn't get to before and so if you're just a fan of platformers um i would recommend this game too um for integrity uh purposes right i want to say i spent about 11 hours um restoring bikini bottoms to his former glory i obtained 27 out of the 44 of the game's achievements and i did obviously beat the game i always like to put that out there in my reviews i complete the games that i review um and I just, again, shout out to THQ Nordic for giving us a game code to review it with. And don't be afraid to, you know, let us know how, how what you guys think of the, the Cosmic Shake down in the comments below. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to YouTube channel. Find us over at Twitch. Find us on Twitter. Find us on Facebook, wherever we are. All of your support matters to us. And we will catch you guys on the next review. I'll see you guys later. Peace.